the specific measures that we are going to take. During a press briefing this morning, Kampala Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago couldn't hide his relief over the resignation of KCCA Executive Director Jennifer Msisi. This is Kumoja Peke. One day, you will see that lady pack her bags and go home. This is the day. It's a momentous occasion for me. I'm sorry to go overboard, but it's because of excitement. According to Lukwago, Musisi's resignation was long overdue since she was no longer performing her duties as expected. In all the engagements we have been having, whether it is budget, whether it is about implementation of the strategic plans, whether it's about oversight or accountability or whatever, and institutional management and administration, it has been the, the deputy executive director in acting capacity, Mr. Serunkoma. Jennifer, all the time out of office. It's only when there are cases where she has an opportunity to show off, like when we were hosting the Kabaka here, like some occasions involving the diplomats. NTV spoke to a section of Kampala members of parliament about Musisi's resignation, and while some echoed Lukwago's sentiments, others were less critical. You very much well know that the, the oversight committees in the parliament, the leadership has changed. The whole right on Rebonanda Mafabi is in charge of PAC. I'm in charge of Kosasi. She sees danger, imminent danger is coming, imminent trouble. She has always not submitted accountability reports to the KCCA, to the authority. There are some good things that you will clearly see, they're trying to promote the city through promotion of the carnival, infrastructure development. You can see the street lights and some other roads that have been fixed. Therefore, like um, the saying is, of course, in a dark cloud there is a silver lining. Definitely, Jennifer Musisi has done some good things. However, her political interference. She was used as a pawn, and I would feel for her. I think she's frustrated. Mosisi cited political interference as one of the reasons for her resignation, but Lukwago and colleagues think otherwise. From us, we did not interfere with her at all. We would criticize her where she had done wrong, and we had positive criticism, and we told her, do not interfere yourself, do not interfere into politics, be technical like you are, wait for the instructions from your councillors, because no single Ugandan does not want development. Jennifer went and filed an application before the High Court to clandestinely seek for an order attaching my salary. Claiming that some time back, during the Kavuma regime, justice, the, the retired Justice Kavuma regime, she had acquired an order, an obnoxious order, indicating that somewhere, somehow one of the applications which went in her favor, some of those interlocutor applications, that she should be paid 47 million. Lukwago further insists that Musisi must present accountability of all funds used during her tenure before she finally leaves office in December. We are going to work out modalities of handling all accountability issues. It's not a matter of throwing away, the, throwing, uh, I mean, throwing in the towel and you run away. No way. No way. She will have to first account before she goes. I know, yes, under the, under the law, we can follow her even after she has gone away. But within these two months, we must work out modalities of handling all the reports. Because now we have reports which are highlight here, which are still pending. What has always caused trouble, problems between Musisi and Rukwago? Musisi hates the term accountability. She's not good at accounting for money. There will be a special council sitting on Thursday, during which the Lord Mayor and councillors will deliberate upon the way forward for KCCA after Jane Famsisi's resignation. Among the issues to be tackled are the rebranding the authority and screening all workers through appraisals. Ali Mivole, NTV, Kampala.